As an artist, I believe one of your tenements, fundamental, is this exchange. A part of that exchange for me is being a teacher, an educator. You use your art to educate. Um, and it was really instrumental for me when I found the Actors Fund. Once accepted, I uh, pursued the work as an artist, educator, and really understanding what I've been doing all along, but uh, making it concrete, sort of very specific in how I approach the work. And that's really important to have the ability to know how to present artistic ideas and sentiments uh, to people that are not artists, but do want to use the arts in a way to educate, to inspire, to build bridges. It's been a great balance. It's been a great um, chance for me to continue to expand my community. This is exactly where I needed to be and where I fit. So I applied for the Teaching Artist Intensive Program and I was accepted and I loved it. And I felt like I really did find my people there. And it's so um, difficult in life to find where you absolutely fit and I felt like I absolutely fit. So some of the things I learned there were classroom management skills, which I really needed. And I use that, I use those skills in um, my teaching act, acting that I do with the children's theater company. And I, you know, it's invaluable information. One of the things I learned in the teaching artist program was about arts integration. And I find that probably to be the most exciting aspect of it. And I have been uh, independently just kind of trying to fine-tune and create different kinds of programs that make history more exciting, English more exciting, science more exciting, and um, do that according to VAPA standards, Common Core, and finding that happy medium. And so I'm hoping in the future that I'll be able to do some education consulting. Uh, I'm finding that a lot of principals and teachers are very interested in making their classroom uh, more multimedia friendly. And um, I think the benefit that I have is that I come from an artistic back background because I, I really believe in STEAM. Um, a lot of times companies or schools are always STEM oriented. And of course, when we say STEAM, we're putting the arts into that particular um, abbreviation. So, you know, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, and all of it works together and drives each other. By being able to share what I do and what I know um, and my experience with, um, with kids or with anybody who isn't maybe, uh, uh, who hasn't had any kind of training or, or in underserved communities, especially who don't always, who aren't always exposed to the arts. Uh, I've been able to see how, uh, how my craft can really um, affect uh, somebody else's life, even in um, developing professional skills, for example, um, giving them the confidence and communication skills to go out into the world, to talk to people, you know, even in job interviews. Um, but even aside from that, just to, to see a, a spark of creativity from someone when they actually uh, connect and are able to experience emotion in a, script it, in a script or to create a character by just putting on glasses and a hat and all of a sudden having something come out of them that they never knew that they had is so rewarding. The Teaching Artist Program really looks at ways of infusing the arts into different subjects. So we were introduced to different common core standards and how we could integrate our special skills into that, whether it be dance, whether it be visual arts, whether it be singing. There's many different creative ways to combine the art form and then to put it into the schools. Um, I found in volunteering with my daughter's school that the biggest hurdle for the arts was time. The bell to bell is four or five hours and the teachers have to be concerned about teaching language arts or science or math and that's really important. But for the whole rounded child, I believe the arts is just as important. I 
gained so much confidence in my skills and my ability to, to be an arts educator in any classroom, any grade. And one of the ways that that confidence was instilled was there's a section in the curriculum, if you will, where we are working with VAPA standards, visual arts, visual arts, visual and performing arts standards that's you know, mandated from the state. And I've applied for various teaching artist positions, dance teaching artist positions, because that's my thing. And they would ask, what's your experience with VAPA standards? Or do you have experience in being able to say yes, and not just, yeah, but to say yes, and to know how to put together a lesson plan that incorporates that. Uh, I've received jobs because of it. I actually have and a face-to-face -face interview in a couple weeks. And I had my phone interview three days ago and they asked me, do you have experience with VAPA standards? And I said, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Actors Fund.